Hi everyone. Happy New Year almost. Today I'm going to show you how to play What Are You Doing New Year's Eve. Before we start, make sure you download the music that's in the description. Get that out because we're going to be using that throughout this tutorial. Now within this song, it's so fun and jazzy. There are some cool chords I want to show you. Okay, so the first chord that we're going to be needing that's pretty important to this song is A sharp. The way we're going to play it in this song is we're going to use the G shape. Okay. And when you have form a G chord, when you form a G chord like this, when you move all of them up one fret, that becomes, it becomes a little higher. Okay. And that becomes G sharp. You go up a little bit, go up again, one fret, all of those fingers go up one fret and there'll be an A. All right. One more, it's going to be A sharp. But the beautiful thing about this is that the G, which is your fourth string right here, when you play it open with all those, with the A sharp, sounds really pretty. That's going to be the A sharp that we're going to be using. Okay. Now, another area of chords that I want you to leg out is the bridge. Um, e, e minor, we'll be using E minor, 0, 2, 0, 2. When I say that, when I say the numbers, 0, 2, 0, 2, that means those are the frets that you press down starting from the top string down. So 0, so that's nothing. 2, you're going to be pressing the second fret, 2. And then 0, nothing on the second string. And then 2, again, 0, 2, 0, 2. And then the other special chord you'll be using is A minor seven, which is all the open strings. Believe it or not, it is a chord, A minor seven. Now, the song itself and the sheet music, the sheet music that I'm giving you is all pretty easy to follow. Step by step, there, you're gonna notice that there's some vertical lines in between the chords and those vertical lines just indicate measures so you know how long to hold your chords for. Um, but, but it's straightforward intro, verse, bridge, verse two, the little instrumental, a bridge, and then again, verse two at the end. And at the end, it changes a little bit just because uh, I gave it a little bit of a unresolved ending before actually ending. So I added that a little bit to give it a little bit of a, um, an exclamation mark at the end of the song. So I added that. Now, for those of you who are advanced players, um, I suggest playing the melody um, of the first line while you're playing the chords. What does that look like? Well, it sounds like this. The melody I found, and because it's from the key of C, the first note is an E. Maybe it's just too early in the game, right? Now, if you can play those within the chords. These are, again, this is for advanced players. You don't have to do this, but this is just something to add. Now, if you want to make your playing sound come out a little bit more. You add something like playing the melody, uh, a little bit of the melody of the song within a song. Now you don't have to play the melody the entire time, but find something in a song where you find you feel that the melody is really pretty, play that and within it, use the chords as well. And it really makes your song come out a little bit more, or actually a lot of it more, <laughs> okay? So my suggestion in this song, because it's different with every song, um, with this song, the first line, it's a, it, the, the song sounds so beautiful when you play that melody. So again, how do you play that melody? It's, it's your first string. Okay. Uh, it is your first string, seven, which is an E. Um, e, D, E, and then back here, back to the seventh fret of the third string. Again, I'll say it again. It's a seven, five, seven, and then seven again, but it's going to be your third string. Seven, five, seven, seven, but third string, maybe it's much. And then two, early in the game, you're still alternating. The rest of it's alternating between the five and the, uh, the seven and the fifth fret. Okay. Now, how does that sound like with the chords? I emphasize the first and the fourth beat on this, on this first measure. Maybe it's just two. Okay. Did you hear that? Maybe it's just two. So right, out, so I play, I strum it first, play the melody. Maybe it's much two, and then right after two, I hit that fourth beat, and then you're gonna go to the early in the game. So that's gonna be A sharp early in the game. I I play the melody on in the game. 
So it'll sound like this. Strum. Maybe it's much too early in the game. And after game, you can do the last two beats. Game. Early in the game. One, two. Okay. Again. Strum. Maybe it's much too early in the game. Strum. Strum. <laughs> okay. And then I like this part, the second half of that. Um, oh, but I thought I'd... And I love that note. It goes... Oh, but I thought I'd... And then I jump back, jump down to the F on the next measure. Ask you just the same. F to the F minor. Okay. Now, what note is that? That is the... Well, this is... This note is E, F, F sharp, G. And that G, that G. It's a G, which is the seven, eight, nine, tenth fret of your first string. Okay, let me play that again. Okay. Ah, oh, but I thought I. So when I play the solo ukulele with the melody and the chord on this, I only strum on the first part of that. Ah, oh, but I thought I. And then I come in strong with ask you just the same, because ask is the next measure. Now I'll put it all together and then everything else is just straight chords. What are you doing, New Year? New Year's Eve. All right. So again, that whole part I just said to you right now was just for advanced players or players who want to explore playing melody while you're playing the chords. They call it solo ukulele or solo ukulele. Um, I'll play that part one more time. Okay, it's the first line only. So it goes like, so you strum. There we go. Strum. Maybe it's much too early in the game. One, two, one. Oh, but I thought I'd ask you just the same. Okay. I'll do it again. I'll go a little bit slower. Two, and strum. Maybe it's just too early in the game. Oh, but I thought I'd ask you just the same. And then everything else is just chords, okay? Let's go ahead and try playing this song together. If you can get that cool melody part, it's awesome. Again, that's just a way to challenge yourself, be creative while you're playing your ukulele songs or any song on the ukulele. And how do you know which part to pick and play the melody on while singing? How do you know it for me? I pick a melody within the song that sounds really beautiful. And if I can sing it at the same time, it goes, and if I can sing it <laughs> um, along with the chords and the melody that I just try it out, really, honestly, it's a lot of trial by error, but I, I pick the prettiest melody <laughs> that there is. And it's, and it's not even that long, but it adds so much, okay? So let's go ahead and try the song. You're singing notes in E, maybe, or you can go up here. Maybe since our, it's going to be our melody. Um, that I'm going to be starting right here with the melody. I'm going to play the solo ukulele. Okay, here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah. Maybe it's just two. Maybe I'm crazy, I suppose. 
New Year, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Have fun with it. Let me know how it goes. Bye.